Hey guys, Mark back here. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on the disassembly of a Glock firearm. I recently uh, took a class, a uh, Glock Armors class, uh, to learn how to work on my firearms. Um, I don't own just Glocks, I'm not just a Glock fanboy. Um, I also own a 1911 uh, by Kimber. Um, I love that firearm. Um, that's my gun that stays at home. I don't like to carry it because it's awful heavy. Um, but I do love Glocks. I love the way they feel. I love the way they shoot. Um, so we'll go over this video and uh, show you how to take everything apart here real quick. All right, we're going to start by unloading the firearm. Empty magazine. Firearm is empty. As always, once you make sure the firearm is empty, double check, hold it in a safe direction, point it down, pull the trigger. Pull the slide back just a little bit, pull down on the takedown pins on either side, and then just pull the slide off. Remove the guide rod, set that off to the side, remove the barrel, set that off to the side. So that is the basic field strip of a Glock firearm. That's all there is to it. There's not much else to those firearms. So we'll set those off to the side and we'll get into the full disassembly of the firearm. We'll start with the slide first. The main thing you need to do is you'll set your slide on end. Um, in here there's a little spring, or a little uh, black piece right here. And you probably just probably can't see it because my video, my lighting's not very good. But you just put your Glock Armors tool down in there, and you just push down on that, and just push it in. And I'm going to do this like this. Once you push that down, you grab your end plate here, and you just slide it out slowly. And you got to keep your finger over it while you're doing it because there's a spring in there. And we'll just keep sliding it out, and then the end plate comes off. And then you can remove your striker. You have your striker and its components, and then your extractor pin and a spring. You don't want to let that go flying. And then your extractor um, is sitting in there still. And then there's a small little sleeve down in there. We just leave that in there. Unless it, if it comes out, it's not a big deal, but not a big thing. All right. Next, you have your firing pin safety, which is this little button right here. You just push down on that a little bit, and your extractor will fall out. Just fall straight out. And then you can just reach down um, and pull your firing pin safety out. There's also a spring involved there. Just don't lose that. We want to keep that available. And that, minus your sights, is complete disassembly of a Glock slide. All right. Well, you can take your firing pin spring apart, um, or your uh, striker pin spring apart, but it's pretty uh, uh, pretty much a pain in the butt with the little spring cups here. We're not going to go over that today. Maybe a later video if I update this, I'll go over that. But for today, we're just going to go with what we have here. We'll set that all off to the side. Alright, next we're going to go over the slide. The assembly of the slide. First thing you want to do is I always just use a pair of pliers to set it up on. I don't have a bench block or anything like that. Um, but you just set your firearm down. You always start with the top pin. Push it out. And sometimes it just wants to be a pain in the butt. And you got to push on it a little bit. And there it goes. Just didn't want to go that way. Push it all the way through. And just pull your pin out. Next, you can do the bottom pin, the larger pin of the two. Sometimes, if it doesn't want to go, you can always just take a small hammer. If it doesn't want to go that way, let's try it from the other side. And, of course, it's being stubborn today because I'm doing it on camera. There you go. I forgot the little trick to tell you guys. Sometimes it gets caught 
if you just wiggle your slide lock, it loosens everything up and it falls right out. I don't know why I forgot that little trick, but I just did. So your slide lock will just pull right out. And then the last pin to remove is the pin back here at the grip. Just push down and it comes right out. So you have all your pins removed. Next you can just grab your um, slide lock or your uh, Oh man, lost my terms. But you grab this part, pull it right out, it comes right out. Then you can grab your trigger group, and it comes right out, trigger and all. Now I can go into more disassembly of the trigger group. I'm not going to go into that today, um, but there is some other things you can do to disassemble your firearm. I'm going to do another video later on. Um, showing you how to um, ease up your trigger a little bit on a Glock firearm, um, make it a little bit smoother. You know, there's a few more things you can take out. You can depress this pin and pull your slide lock uh, out, um, or not your slide lock, but your uh, takedown uh, lever out. But we don't need to go into all that today. I just wanted to show you a basic disassembly of the firearm. If you have any questions, please ask below. Um, as always, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together here and talk through it. Hopefully it goes smoothly. So we'll put the trigger group back down in. Trigger goes in. Get that pushed back down in. Once everything's lined up, we'll take the pin, shove it back down in. Get it going. And the Glock Armors tool, you just use the corner of one end, and that gets it to the point where it needs to be. All right. And then we'll go ahead and put this back in. Just slides right back down in there. All right. Next, we're going to take our uh, slide lock and put it back in. It just basically slides right into a slot right here. And you'll see the spring on the top uh, just needs to be pushed down and it just slides right in that little slot if I can get it to go here. And once you got everything lined up, you get it back in that slot. You put the top pin back in. course I'm having trouble today with everything. As always. We'll go ahead and actually I think that's what I'm doing wrong. You put your pin back in first. Jeez. I'm getting everything backwards today. Put your pin back in first, then you put your slide lock back in. And that pushes that spring down and gets it in the right spot. And then you put your large pin back in. And it just slides back in. Just like that. And everything clicks into place. Slide lock works again. Frame is working, fun functioning properly. All right, let's go ahead and put the slide back together. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get the safety uh, pin back in there, the striker safety. We're going to put the striker back in first, and then push the safety in, holding that all together, just pushing them both in at the same time, and check for function, and it does work. Hold it up on the end, we put our striker back down in there, and then put the extractor spring, spring goes up. Plunger goes down in. Then we just need to reassemble and put the slide plate back on. Just get it started and then push down your striker. Push your plate forward a little bit more. Let's just use our tool here. And then you can push your plunger down for your ejector. Pulling that down, pushing in, and then just push it in all the way. We have our slide completely reassembled as far as those components. Put your barrel back in, put your guide rod back in, 
grab your frame, put it back together, works, test for function, test for function, empty magazine in, slide locks back, still works, we're good. So that is how you disassemble and reassemble your Glock firearm. Any questions, ask below, like, share, and subscribe.